rated S for super spoiler. From the Nakama obsessed author that values life above all, he makes viewers everywhere say, holy shit, no one died. comes the popular anime without black people again that blinded haters into thinking that the series is a ripoff instead of an inspiration since other series are super unique fairy tale as one of the four emperors gods of Ishval, it must also inherit the will of cliché, such as friends, family, dumb MC, OP dad, awesome mentor, talking animals, ugly character design, never-ending adventure, power-up bullshit, and addiction to the number seven. Dragons vanished seven years ago. Year 777. On the seventh day of the seventh month. Ah, what's with all the sevens, huh? How should I know? So fly to Fairy Tale, the orphanage guild for young wizards, set in a magical world, every kid's paradise. That isn't Harry Potter. Cause no school, plus cool fights that aren't just standing around swinging a stick. And prepare for an anime full of epic soundtracks, incredible voice actors, sad and beautiful music, plus lots of fan service? Get ready for a show that isn't just about Lucy's tits, but full of heart-touching, heart-warming, tear-jerking, romance, humor, action-packed adventures, and mystery. So mysterious. We will never know the parents of our characters. Cause who needs family when you've got fairy tale? Meet Natsu, the Sakura in name only Dragon Slayer. Your typical MC that in order to protect my Nakama, I must be stronger. Cause justice always prevails, bitches. Urza, the queen of anime. Everyone's favorite girl. Her kindness knows no bounds and so is her strength and beauty. However, you really should never mess with her Nakama or her cake. Gray, hottest due to the show. So hot, he's forced to strip whenever possible along with the best teacher ever. And the hell, traumatized kid? Wendy, cutest sky goddess. As honest and innocent as she's helplessly without Hello Kitty. Lucy, oops my bad, the one most people don't know is the real protagonist, the white girl with the power of 5,318,008. FT cared about friendship as much as seven, so it will probably take seven years to mention them all. To prevent from going over the seven minute mark, I'll chop it down to just seven more. Mira, the lovable little demon, fairy tales big mom, Mavis, the show's little angel, most adorable fairy. Gajil, most interesting character that's still a better singer than Bieber. Lasana, the one people want dead for plot sake. Laxus. The natural born Super Saiyan, Zerif, Fairy Tale's greatest crybaby, but also their kindest and ultimate adversary. Happy, FT's smart ass mascot. 
a show with fancy titles like Dragon Slayer, God Slayer, Man Slayer, even though none of them actually slay the damn thing. But above all, be prepared to get trolled by Hero, because he can't grant you one piece of shit and quickly drop you a Philosopher's Stone in the Jaeger's basement. So cliche filled with so much disappointment that even haters' reasons become 70 times 7 more cliche, like too much man service, too predictable, or just plain old sucks because others say so. It's basically an anime where none of the MCs will die due to the power of plot armor, but you will need lot and lots of tissues. So get ready to laugh your ass off, cry your eyes dry, since you'll have to sit through the wondrous 25% fillers that no one asks for. Starring Shikamaru, Shanks, Neko Kuroha, Ichigo, Seagart, Ikaruga, Instant Transmission, Suck on This, Sakura, Colossal Titan, K.O. Urza, Don't Piss Off White Chick, You Better Run, I'm Happy, Not Fairy Tale. It's Friendly Tits. This is madness! This is Sparta!